Hey, you know what? We haven't had in about two years another Dave Crate video. Yeah! So, a mysterious package of unknown origin with strange and unusual contents has appeared on my doorstep with no shipping label that had not already been taped, masked off, sharpied over, and blurred out in post-production. This is in fact Dave Crate 2, Dave Crate 2017, or as I'm probably going to call it, Dave Crate Anime because Loot Crate did an anime box and apparently this is the same deal. Hopefully. I know what to say, but this was a long time coming, supposedly. And the company who sent this to me, and by company I mean my friend from home, said we're gonna have better items that are totally not just stuff we got from a dollar store, because that's how all these loot box companies work. And supposedly these are better. Now, what have we first got here? A Despicable Me vinyl figure. In case your loot boxes weren't bad enough, here's one that has a Despicable Me character in it. Your Dave Crate also includes... What the hell is this? And we have a copy of... Are you freaking kidding me? You know... The company specifically heard that I wasn't a fan of this series and that I, after watching like five episodes on Crunchyroll, and I guess they decided I needed a copy of the manga. Uh, okay. I have, I'm assuming this is some kind of weeaboo snack. Actually, no, I don't think this is a snack. I think this is like one of those things you put on a cell phone. So this is actually a clip that you can put on anything, really. Like, say, the cardboard it came with as a joke. Okay, this is actually legitimately good, and, and uh, here we go with uh, a popular toy from the 2017 hit video game series uh, that I can't get open. It's uh, Splat Tim 2 on the Nintendo Switch. I, maybe this doesn't come apart. But as you can see, it's Splat Tim in all of his Splat Tim glory. I'm gonna close my eyes for this one. Opening my eyes and, oh! Oh my gosh, it's an amazing figure of Attack on Titan from the Attack on Titan series. If you've never heard of uh, Attack on Titan, this is something from the series of Titans and the various attacks upon them. Actually, I think I have that backwards. No, it's a series about people who attack Titans. This title makes no sense. To let you got, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it says something like Paradise Swing in here, and it appears to be some sort of Gashapon toy. This is giving me more trouble than anything like this deserves to give me. And within, there's some sort of Okay, here's, before I reveal what's inside, I'm going to reveal the label for all y'all people who actually read Japanese. If uh, you were desperate to have this hanging off of like the end of, I guess, your cell phone or backpack or something, then yeah, I'm gonna assume this is like, uh, what is this, like the Sundere one or whatever? Not gonna look, not gonna look, not gonna look. Oh, whoa, whoa, hello. This is like the X and Y Pokédex. And you can like open it and there's like a holographic display and this, this is clearly not official merchandise because it says Pocket Monsters, unless this is from Japan. No, maybe this is and this is just from Japan. I have no, okay, when they said when they said this was going to be anime themed, what they meant was, uh, they get a bunch of stuff from a dollar store, but it's in Japan this time. I'm... What? Why? 
I've never heard of this at all. Just occurred to me this person just has a, cert a shirt that says Autumn Los Angeles. Uh, an Umaru tag of some kind. Now, I remember 2015 really thinking that this show was funny, but they made a second season. I have yet to even look at it, which is kind of a travesty because it was actually kind of funny. Uh, oh, I know what this is. Is this from the same line of that picture of a, like a egg that's happy to be eaten or something? And inside there's a guy or something. What is this, like a mint tray? I can't get the sucker. Oh, hello. And then it's just a tray. Why, why would they have a metal tray for like a five sticker pack? If you've ever wanted to see the yolk of an egg's bum, here you go. And let us never speak of it again. I was wondering, like, how does this stand up? The answer is there's a base that fell off. Uh, this was already opened. I don't even... What is this? Why are there blood types listed on the side? I don't even want to open this. I feel dirty. Here, you go sit by the uh, old AMD heat sinks collection. It's another Gashapon toy, but this time it's... Oh, I, I figured how to fell this beast. I hope. Some sort of kitschy thing from Sailor Moon. I guess this is like the things that... I only re re watched Sailor Moon as like a kid and it was the Deke dub, so... I guess these were the things that they used to change into their magical girl uniform. Um, I feel more various bits here, which includes... You're from Dragon Ball, I know that, because you look like a Hira Toriyama wrote you, drew, drew you. Is this like a, a mini Beyblade? Let's see. That was disappointing. And if you needed a pen with Dorymon characters... Let's see, Dorymon, Dorymon, Potato Potato. Nope. This pen is garbage. Man, it's uh, it's an eraser that's shaped like. If you need like an eraser that's in the shape of like a traditional Japanese housewife, there you go. Ready? It's upside down. That's what it is. It's upside down. Is it like a gingerbread house kit or something? No, it's like a toy. That's oh, hello. That's this is from Pokemon. And you can like build your uh, Pokemon diorama or something. Actually, no, not build. It comes with all the pieces. This just fell out entirely. I'm surprised it survived the trip from company headquarters. But here's uh, Trunks in his uh, glowy hair mode and blue eyes. Uh, tr uh, future Trunks on a keychain. And the rest is all Dragon Ball cards. Hello, this fell out of the po this fell out of the Pokédex. Got some stickers, some other stuff. I don't know what. These are like trading cards, and here's like a clear little thing. So uh, I've had to do some googling, some soul searching. I can't believe I forgot about Gudetama. I hate myself. For those wondering, Gudetama is a Sanrio character, I it's made by the Hello Kitty guys, and it's basically an incredibly depressed egg. Also, the XY Pokedex had a second card that fell out. 
now it's got like a different one in there and there's numbers that you can barely see. I suppose I've been putting this off long enough. Okay, so much is taking the piss. Got blind bags in blind bags. The answer is... Uh, is that good? Oh, what the heck? This is one, one in 12 chance of each, okay. It doesn't even stay up on its own. Right, so I actually had to look this up. It is apparently a shoujo, i.e. targeted towards small girls, arcade game made by Bandai, which is also an idol series. Still don't know what this thing is. Put you next to future trunks. If I can get you to stop getting tangled on everything. <laughs> you know, it's screw it. You're not going to stand up on your own. You're too tiny for that. That is still a disappointment. Kanagi is apparently a series from like 2006 or something. You'll notice that it had an English title which you can't see. Now you can. That I didn't bother reading or caring about. So this is merchandise from... Just says 15 years and up. And that's about it. So after some extensive googling, I have determined that this Idol Master character, Ronko Kanzaki, is apparently some idol girl that dresses up almost exclusively in Gothic Lolita or something like that and has like this whole extremely macabre personality. But like it's, she, she's actually like extremely scared inside or something because reasons. Oh hello, you don't even want to open. You're that embarrassed of your own contents and oh I just forgot to undo another thing here. Sorry, I am used to like Nendoroid packaging where it's like super like well packed in there but I guess it's like a cheaper type figure. And I guess it comes in two halves, so you can swap out different stuff. It comes with like a head, like a body. There's like a stage and stuff you can put your uh, idol waifu or whatever. <sighs> As I mentioned before, these bags are kind of annoying. Actually, I don't remember mentioning it, but you gotta like actually cut the bags and then you can't like reuse it. Then you'll like lose all the accessories or something. Or maybe you just do that, yeah. And then it doesn't work. I guess that's the thing you put the uh, figure on. Then you gotta get the body out, and it just attaches with a hole on the back. It won't go through. Then your figurehead can come together, sort of, I think. Oh, sorry, I put these in the wrong order. Fingers are kind of like stabbing me. There you go, there's your Idol Master figure. Okay, that's decent enough, and then you can, uh... Yeah, there you go. There's your, uh, Idol Sage thing. Now this is actually an interesting little Pokémon diorama. Alright, so what do you get inside here? Hopefully something vaguely resembling the toy. Stuck. Ugh. Got the Fennekin and someone else that I don't remember because I don't, I didn't really play a lot of X and Y. And then you got a Fennekin and Blob thing that's like a little suction cup on the bottom. Let's see, they stick. Oh, actually, fairly decently. Wait, this is this is rated all ages. We've 
got oh what the heck they've got like a code comment in the bot on the bottom if you got it they've got like a whole host of other pokemon dioramas They're cute and entertaining. A little fake door for your Pokemon on this thing that snaps in here, if it wants to snap in here. And then the rest of it just... Oh, is that like some curry or something? Yeah, you'll, you'll go and eat your curry. Let's see. You've got this, but what the? doesn't stick on at all just like stays it that's actually interesting so now it's time to compare the last Dave crate which uh, is still hermetically sealed in its original container for biohazard uh, reasons and will not be coming out until these chocolates expire in approximately 2038, in which case I will use it to poison ashes. Out of all this merchandise, honestly, the only the only thing I could say that I actually enjoyed is uh, the Pokemon diorama. I have no attachment to Attack on Titan whatsoever. Idle shit can stay over there, but it'll be burned and crushed and melted. This is kind of cute, I guess, but eh. this is just cancer. This I don't know. This is like super old. Actually, it's kind of new again. More Dragon Ball, whatever or other. Gudetama. Yeah, this was kind of a bust. I mean, well, compared to the last one, it's like better, but eh. That it, your uh, willingness to buy into Dave Cray anime should be about, should last as long as this top will spin.